this is an opportunity for me, and I really hope people please just leave me alone and just give me positive affirmations from this, but this is a time for me to just show people the past is the past and we're only moving forward. The show is a really different path for me um, because it, it takes, it, it has a sentimental value to me, the beach, of something that I took that was a really hard moment in my life and I was gonna stay stronger past it and just really take control of creating a business for myself and and really appreciate all the things I've gone through in the past and just kind of move forward in a very, in a way that I wanted to by myself on my own. Um, so it's, I really, I'm tough to the people that work with me because it's very hard to bring a bunch of kids into a place and, and you know, have a camera crew on a sacred place for me and, and, and look at them and be like, you know what, you're here to work, it's fun, but this, I have memories on this beach and this is now, this is a job for you here. So I did it also because I wanted to incorporate memories that I've had in my life and, and, and put those in the past and just start something fresh and new. So it's a definitely a different side of me, yeah. Well, it's not too personal because those memories were all over the internet, unfortunately. And you know what, sometimes fortunately because I was able to speak out for a lot of women um, that were physically abused in relationships. And yeah, I had someone that was maybe not in the right headspace and a attacked me and it was bad. I mean, it was rough. And, and the last thing that I was gonna do was keep that memory of a place that I go to all the time and not make something better of it. So that's why I decided to take over the beach. Pack your bags, MTV. We're going to Mykonos. Do you think there's preconceived notions of me? I think so too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, people have always had this idea of me that they, you know, it, it's funny. I was talking to someone the other day and they said, and I was in um, Bilbao and they said, oh, she said Bilboa. Look, if, if I do everything right, I have to find one thing to make everything negative to some extent. I don't know what, I just wanna know what people want me to do so that everything can just be okay. Um, and I don't know if that's ever gonna be possible for the past, you know, almost 28 years of my life. But it's people always will preconceive notions about anyone. And it's because I'm a very honest person and I'm not afraid to be who I am. And my life has been in the public eye, my entire life has been in the public eye. Um, so I think that people will see that like, this is something really important to me and, and I don't want anyone coming in between that. I mean, I now have three clubs in all of Greece and I'm looking to open more and venues and hotels and I wanna, I'm a businesswoman and that's a very different side of me. Work is work and I don't want any mucking about. <laughs> Mykonos consists of a population of 10,000 people all year round. So it's much easier for me to do things in a place where there's literally three paparazzi and I know them all for the past seven years. So it's it's much easier for me to be in control of the situation so that everything that I want to happen will happen when it's meant to happen. And then also, the people that I have come to the beach club, I wanna make sure that they're safe because they don't. some people don't wanna be photographed and that's important to me. So yeah, much easier out of the US. Not that I don't love the US, I'm from New York, <laughs> but it's much easier. I've joined the MTV family and I'm Lindsay Lohan. We just started dancing. And so I, I, was, I was actually traveling to Athens to my other place to pre-open it and I got this email from someone that I work with and she goes, this dance is going viral. It's called Do the Lilo. And I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> so then I saw it and I was like, she's like, we have to make this spectacular thing. And she did and it was just, but it wasn't planned. I mean, it wasn't, it was just, we're just having fun and it became something which was, and then I saw Halloween costumes later and it just, completely changed the whole perception of what dancing is. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I didn't even know someone filmed it because we had we had MTV there, so we, it was pretty private. And it was, yeah, it was not expected. <laughs> There's a dance class actually in Australia that was pretty amazing. Like a room of like about uh, 60 people that they were teaching the dance to. And I was like, how do I even do those steps? Because I was just dancing, so I don't even know exactly how I would do that. <laughs> In the show, I'm I'm the overseer. Yeah, I'm the I'm the boss, and and it's kind of it's really interesting actually because you take a bunch of kids that have never been to Mykonos. Um, I can say kids now, come 32, so that's easier for me. But you take these kids and you put them in this party place, 
And, and Oprah had said it to me too. She didn't want me to go if I was gonna do her show. So I chose her show instead of going, which was a blessing. Um, but you take these kids and they just wanna run around and they forget that they have a job the next day. They think they can just go on stamina. But then one's not functioning properly. Someone's not getting their drinks on time. Someone's not getting their food. And I was able to watch it as an overseer and really understand. I was like, wait, was I ever like that? Maybe, but this can not happen now. So it was definitely like a juxtaposed position that I was put in. I really, I really appreciate that and admire it because these kids also have their own issues that they're going through in those moments. And I got to really have some insight and get to know these people to, to have a reason of why they wanna be there in the first place. I've gone through a roundabout of things since I was a kid. Um, so I, I don't think I'd be able to relate to them as much. And I'm, I'm, it's a blessing that I was able to because these girls had some real issues and it was really interesting to kind of have them work through it. It was, it was like therapy for them. Um, and it really got them to change themselves. I haven't seen them in a bit, so we'll see for next season. <laughs> Okay, there were two, two of the girls that work with us um, had an argument over this guy. And I wasn't with them. They had gone out that night and they were fighting in the house and I had I'd seen it and I heard from some of our crew what they were fighting about. And I knew the person they were fighting over. And they thought he was this like massive ex-footballer from London. And he's an MC at my club in Athens. So when I got to them, I said, do you guys even know what you're fighting about? And, I, and then I kind of tried to dig in deeper. I said, look, we're supposed to stick together. We're women. You have a beautiful opportunity in life. You're here for the right reasons. You have to be friends with each other. So you're both on probation and you're staying in the same room. You're not allowed to go out and you're just working. And you're both on the same station and the same cabana. And it actually worked well for them. So it's, I mean, it was a really cool thing for me to do because people have tried to kind of say what they want me to do in my life without knowing anything. But to actually hear a story from someone is something that we forget to do all the time, you know, in the press and multimedia. And I think this show really explores other sides of people and, and how I can, I can share my past with them and how I can help them. Panos is, is he's, a, he's a mean guy. Yeah. <laughs> he's gonna kill me. Well, actually, he'll probably like it. No, he's, he's a tough cookie. Um, and he's known me for five years now, and we're very good friends, and he started my first place in Athens with me, and then really worked so hard to make it happen in Mykonos, and, and also now in Rhodes, and, and he's a hard worker, and I really, we have like a genuine respect, but disrespect for each other. Like we're brother and sister, so we fight like that, but we're okay with just like being okay. But he's tough, he goes and he, does, he has no patience for any, any drama, but he creates his own drama. <laughs> There were some that were there for the wrong reasons, just to kind of maybe be on camera. And I, and I can sense, if anyone can sense that right away and tell that right away, it's me. Um, and, and because I would see them just kind of more, if anyone had a phone at the beach too, this was a problem. If they're taking photos with clients, they can't do that. That's a rule, you cannot do that. So if someone does that, there's a conversation to be had. Um, but most of the people that, and the people that stay with me, and you'll see that on the show, um, at the end, they were very, they were genuine people. And, and people didn't think that I was gonna choose certain people to st keep on, but I, I really watched them and I paid attention and they had, they had really good intentions of being there and that's really important to me. If, it's all about your intention. And if there's one slip off and, and you make an excuse for it and you're not honest about it, then you're gone. Like, that's enough, go home. Reprimand them on the drama that they're creating when they should be sleeping. I'm like, you guys should be resting, by the way. And then I went into their rooms once and their rooms were a mess. I was like, okay, you're all, take everything out of the house, clean your rooms. Take the day off tomorrow, cleaning your rooms. And then I, there, you know, there's a big issue with homeless cats. So I, I sent some of the guys that were fighting with each other to go and feed the cats and help other people. Like it was, people don't pay attention to a lot of things that happen in Mykonos and the things that you can do for good. People just think it's, you go there just to go, go crazy. and. I didn't go there for that in the beginning. I went there alone for the first four years and I found solace there and like a silence. And now it's changed because it's picking up. And, and But the Greek people, the people that actually are from, and especially from Mykonos, 
you have to realize these people only have lived there their whole lives. So you have to respect their culture and their homes and give back. Because if I'm going to give you an opportunity, you have to give me a reason to keep you here. So give back to something and learn about the culture and the island that you're on. And it's a small island. Most of my life, I've always been surrounded by a lot of noise and a lot of things and people. And that's why even doing this MTV show was a big leap for me. I mean, I was definitely nervous, especially after the Oprah show. It was, it was different, but that was really focused on me at a very kind of critical time in my life. Um, and this was, this was showing, exploring a place that I really found some solitude in. And I want to show that to America. I want to show people that it's a beautiful place where you can, you can go with your family too, especially on my beach. It's very family oriented and it's fun too, but it's, I want to share the things that I've experienced with other people in any way that I can. So they're not afraid to travel to certain places and, and they don't just think it's just about going out every second. It's not just about that. Um, now I've ruined it for myself, because <laughs> now hopefully everyone's going to want to go, but not so good for me. <laughs> that you believe that this is your time mm -hmm. to turn this around for yourself. I believe that. Yeah. I believed you when you told me that. It is. Okay. I think that the difference between doing the Oprah series and doing, the Oprah series was kind of, it was directed by someone else, so I didn't have any physical control of whatever was going on and I wanted to be a producer but then they said then people will say you're producing yourself so it looks fake <clears throat> so I didn't know what to do and I just come back to New York after being out of treatment so it was a long experience and and thrown into my family and it was some of it was people were fed lines and and Oprah was really the one person I could talk to and she really helped me kind of figure everything out as it went on but that was completely different this is more of this is me as I am as a person now and how my life is and how I want to move forward with it. And all of the things that I've, this is, this is an opportunity for me and I really hope people please just leave me alone and just give me positive affirmations from this. But this is a time for me to just show people the past is the past and we're only moving forward. And there's no opportunity for them to say anything because I'm not, I, I, my intention doing this was to never give anyone a reason to say anything, it's about who I am as a person now, and what I'm doing now, and not about my personal past. It's tiring, I mean, I'm tired of hearing about my past. <laughs> There's nothing I haven't done according to the news. <laughs> Cause I'm 32 and I'm not getting younger, and I know who I am as a person now, and I've grown, and and I've, I know what it's like to be in different places in your life, and, and if I can give anything to anyone, any sound advice, it would be to surround yourself with good people because, you know, especially with these kids, they don't know who they're gonna meet. They could hear a name and it's, it's interesting to them. I'm like, that's not important. This is important. This is your path, unless you wanna go that way, then go. But then you're not coming back here. Because I know what it's like, because I, I, and I want people to know that my, my future is, continuing to do this and opening other places and making people happy. Um, but I want to share that. So I think it's, it's my time, my time is now to do that. Yeah, taking time for you is important. And, and I've learned that the hard way, unfortunately, but I did. And I want to share that with other people.